Hey CrossFit kids, we're going to do a little workout today. Our workout is going to consist of an EMOM of 15 minutes and then some core work afterwards. To get started, we're going to go through a warm up. The warm up, you're going to do 30 seconds of double under taps, which is going to look like this. You're going to tap your legs two times and jump up for 30 seconds. Then you guys have 30 seconds of twisting positions. You can shuffle to the side, side to side. Make sure you rotate. Then you have 30 seconds of sprawl. Jump back, jump up. Jump back, jump up. And you're gonna do that three times through. Once you're done with three rounds, you have a minute of plank on your forearms or on your hands. And then three shoulder cars on each side. Shoulder cars, I'm gonna keep my torso nice and flat. I'm gonna do three going around one way and then three going on the, around the other way. Then we do three on the other side, one way, three on the other. Try to picture your arm up against a wall and you're trying to follow that arm as closely to the body as you possibly can on that one. We have rocking froggies where you'll get on all fours. This is helping prepare us for our squats. Back is neutral and I'm just going to pulse back and forth 10 times. When I'm finished with 10, I stick one leg out. Looks like this. One leg out, I'm just going to pulse back and forth. 10 on one side, and then you'll do 10 on the other. We have hip cars that follows that. My legs are at 90-90. I'm going to go to the floor one way, and then to the other side. And I'll do that 10 times. We follow that with a bird dog back on our hands and knees. Opposite leg to opposite arm goes up. Control those that movement. Try not to arch the back up and down as you go. You'll do 10 of those. Then we have 10 cat cows. Arching the back. Pressing the back up. And then we have 15 squats. 15 squats, I stand up, and I'm gonna sit down, stand, sit down, stand. It's important that we go below our knees and not above our knees. We wanna get that full range of motion. And then we have our EMOM. Now our EMOM is going to look like this. Every minute for the minute, you're gonna do one exercise. The first exercise is plank, one arm, reach. You're going to do this for one full minute. My arms out wide. I'm going to reach one arm out, reach the other arm out. As many times as I can get in one minute. After that, I have a burpee over a book. So I usually have a nice thick book or any kind of thick book. You can put it on the floor. You'll go down into your burpee. Come up, jump over your book, go down into another burpee for the next minute, minute two. Then you have a backpack row. You'll get a nice, your normal backpacks, fill it with books or any kind of weight you want. I'm going to bend over so that my back is nice and flat, grab my handles, and I'm going to row that bag to my chest and back down, up and down. Up and down for the third minute. Fourth minute is a thruster. I have laundry detergent that I use for this one where I will squat down and press that weight up overhead. Squat down and press that weight overhead. And then we rest for one minute. And you do that whole thing three more times. Our core portion, when you're done with the 15 minute EMOM, is 20 sit-ups, 
knees out, arms up top, 20 of these, followed by 10 hollow rocks. Legs out, press your lower back into the floor, arms out, try to keep this nice and tight, your core. Keep hold that tension. If that's still too hard for you, you can bend the knees and rock back and forth. You can also open up your arms or you can have your arms out here with straight legs. But try to keep, make sure that this is nice and tight for the entire time. Five rounds of that. And then you guys are done and you can stretch out. Use any of the stretches that we, that I showed you guys in the beginning for the end. Or you can do some of your own stretching. But make sure that you stretch after the workout. That way you guys are safe. Alright guys, have fun.